here we have mittens that are upcycled from sweaters. These are made in the style of the Bernie mittens. Go to my website, download the pattern. It's very simple. It has the back of the mitten, the finger section, this folds up, and this is the palm section. So these two pieces go together and then that gets attached to the outside of the mitten. Very simple. Basic same process for the lining. So lining, depending what you want to use, maybe something as thin as micro fleece, t-shirting. Um, they are much nicer if they are lined. The cuff is also sweater material or if you have some old leggings or tights you could use that. Adjust the length as much as you want because the the cuff you may want it tighter or looser so it's folded over six inches wide. When you print the pattern make sure not to size it to the page. Print it at 100% so each square is one inch and you can check that once it's printed. So these mittens are uh, quite comfortable. They have the band and that seam is hidden because this is folded over. So you can put a button there to make it uh, always stay there. My hands I would say are a women's size large or men's maybe medium small. You can adjust the pattern, print it larger or smaller as you prefer. So these are made with a cotton sweater. This one is a mohair sweater, hand knit, that I threw in the washer and dryer a couple times. So it's very felted, very strong and dense. And then um, this is an acrylic sweater. So you see the seam here going around. Quite nice, lovely, warm mittens. Or maybe you have a favorite sweater that has a really pretty pattern. These are also the same pattern, slightly smaller. So make yourself some amazing mittens. So I have all the pieces cut here. These are the bands at the wrist. They are six inches wide. I like to decide how long uh, later on because all of them do not stretch the same amount. So you'll need one for each mitt, obviously. So you have a palm section and a finger section, two pieces of each and the outside. So there's that thick mohair. Then there are a palm section, finger section of lining for each. So there you can imagine it. And the back of the hand, nice and thin. It doesn't matter so much what your stitching looks like because it will be hidden. So now it's time to go to the sewing machine and kind of sew first the lining as a mitten and then the outside and then attach that. This is the other sweater, the inside, fingers, palm, ribbing at the wrist, and the outside of the mitten in this case half the pattern so you can kind of plan where your patterns are. I make them symmetrical but you know you could have them all kinds of patterns come together that would look very interesting too. So here I had used the red and the red. Very nice comfy soft um, pretty nice movement mittens so Let's get sewing. 
So to sew the lining, you line up the thumbs. So cross the palm and stop opposite the palm. I use a very, very tight stitch and double st stitch in that uh, corner because that will need reinforcement. If you want extra reinforcement, sew twice. I would then trim it nice and short. This material is not going to fray, so um, I don't want extra bulk inside the actual mitten. So then once you open it, again, right sides together. There's a lot of easing with these knits that you can do. And because this is a lining, it's probably going to be a little smaller than the outside of the mitten. Sure, you could have a different pattern piece, but um, you can sew a bit of a larger uh, seam and cut that off so to get less actual bulk inside the mitten. So there it is, sewn, lots of fuzz, yes, still to be trimmed. You can double check it, see how it is. Feels pretty good, goes nice and deep in there. So that's the lining. Same process for the knit. Now, as you do this straight stitch, I don't use a serger, um, you could use a stretch stitch. It may actually start to make the, um, the knit kind of stretch out, but you can press it back later. I like to sew it a couple times again, just for reinforcement. You know, the tight stitch should grab the wool quite nicely so that when you pull, it's not going to come out. Again, trim to keep less bulk. So there's the outside of the mitt and this will now become attached. Like I said, lots of easing. Don't worry about uh, what looks like too much. And I'll stretch it out, push it in, get it lined up. And then once you've got that sewn, again, I like to sew twice. Um, check your sizing. This is going to be turned inside out, but ample room here. So pretty happy with that. My hands are probably about a women's large. So I'm going to trim this up and then um, get the lining in and add the cuff. So. So once the lining is done, take, put it on your hand. It's a lot easier to get the lining into the mitt once it's on your hand. Also, to get all this nice and smooth, take the time to actually do some steaming and ironing. It'll get the shape much better. So once it's inside and lined up, now is where you add the ribbing. So I will add it inside, sew it around, and flip it to the outside so that it is clean. You don't see the seam. And it also allows you to make the ribbing, the cuff, a little tighter. So depending what you're using as the cuff, here I'm actually using what was the sweater. So I'm going to estimate about, because it's going to bring it in a little. So with the seam allowance, I'll take that off. So with the seam allowance, I'm going to go with this. And I'm going to cut another one, open it up, 
sew the seam, put it inside and attach it. So when you decide how long your cuff wants to be and how wide or tight, you put the cuff inside. I know it seems strange because now it's it's right side to wrong side, but you sew all the way around. Stretch it as you sew. If you want to shorten the mitten, this is your chance to. So there it is, cuff sewn into the into the mitten. Then I trim it and zigzag it. From there, you can now flip it so you have that really nice opening, clean, and you have your cuff. To keep the cuff from coming back, you can put a nice button on here and maybe make it accent decorative and there you have your mittens made out of recycled sweaters so that's that pair and this will be this pair 